Okay, so now what we're gonna do is basically, we're gonna hide the settings, so when we press play game, the settings won't be on. So, open up your menu canvas, settings canvas, and... Oh, that's my exit canvas. Settings canvas, that was really confusing. Uncheck that. Okay, now, we're gonna make the continue canvas. So what I will do, I will copy the panel, control C, then right click, make a new UI, and... Okay, so in the continue canvas, right click, make a new uh, raw image, I think it is. It's either image or raw image, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do a raw image, because then you can just drag and drop the texture of the material in here. In this image, you will have basically the image of your level. Um, my game will be uh, three main parts of the game, so I will have this three times, basically. Okay, and now make it look nice by, I don't know, putting something around it. Okay. Now for the main part, make sure the continue canvas is on the left side. And... Right. Just make it look nice, basically. continue text oh it's because it's not in the continue canvas now it is there we go okay so what I'll do later is basically when you press play uh, it'll come up with some info about the stuff, but that'll be later on because it takes too long. Okay, so now to code this in. So let's go back to our script and menu script. And basically we're gonna code it the same way we coded our settings and exit canvas. So we will add two new variables. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the false ones for settings and exit into here and these ones into here so they won't overlap. So basically, if exit canvas is open, then settings is false and continue canvas will be false too. So copy that into here. and here exit open false false continue false false and now the same thing with here so continue open true then exit open false and settings there we go false
that should work. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, look, I forgot a silly color. Oh my god. Okay. Now let's try this out. So, in your button manager, make sure you assign your continue canvas in here. And now the continue button, which is here. Press that. Let's drag and drop the button manager. And continue canvas there it is so continue canvas let's make you invisible and see if it worked yay yep and none of them overlap which is good okay so now I created a GUI uh, folder where you will save your GUI animations because we're gonna animate this thing so uh, press on your on the first button which is the start game button and animation create save it in the right folder and After you do all the animations, I, need, I still need to do the exit game button, but what you do... Select them all. Uh, okay, one by one, and do not loop them. Uncheck loop. And then let's see how it looks. Hmm, they're not in the same time. and now I have to do the exit button and I'll be done. Yes, perfect. Oh, this, it says good twice, my bad. I just noticed that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna work on the start game. I don't know why there's nothing here, but what we're gonna do, so, we're gonna make the start button work and basically change the scene to our gameplay. Uh, but instead of me making a gameplay, I will make an intro animation to the game, so a little story. Because to make a really good game, you want a good story. So what I'm gonna do, I will make more animated stories using Unity. So when you press the start, basically, I will show you how to make the start button change the scene. Okay, so press new scene, save this one. Okay, and basically make a new terrain okay guys I'll show you how to add water as well so it should come with the standard assets uh, environment water not the basic one the water and uh, where's the sea? There was a fire, fire. Oh, there we go. Water four advanced, which is in environment, water, water four, and prefabs. This is what looks. This looks the best. Uh, but actually, the simple one looks better. I think for me, anyway. It's up to you. You decide which one you want, and then just make it bigger. It works perfect. Look at that. It looks beautiful. Okay guys, I'm gonna build a bridge. So to build a bridge, I'm gonna go as 
this uh, game object, 3D object, cube. And now I will play around with this using the tools on top. Just stretch and stuff and then I'll show you how to add materials. Okay, there we go. So now, how to add the textures. Go to textures, uh, right click, create a new folder and call it bridge textures or whatever you want. And in the bridge texture, create a new material and I will call that bridge. Now in here, you will go to these shaders and either diffuse or specular, it doesn't really matter. And press select here and choose your textures. Okay guys, so what I've done is basically I have my I've um, animated my intro, so I've got my car and the car basically drives across and I'll have a uh, song thing playing and then a phone call happens and you drop your phone and you get in a car accident which I will animate later but you know I've basically used simple animations like we did in main menu um, basically for the car I've got three different animations and I've got the main camera controller and the car controller and basically I've joined them together and uh, for example this is the car and if I go into animations um, as you can see it's got three animations in it which I've I've done so here's number one, it goes to, um, it's five seconds long, it goes to the bridge. Then there's number two, where it crosses the bridge. And number three, which is the long one, which goes around the, the map. I've wrote a new script called Camera Change, I called it. It's pretty simple. Hey, you can copy that if you want. And what this allows you to do is basically uh, what you do: you make a new camera, you new, create an empty, name it Camera Manager, drag and drop that camera JavaScript onto here, and then assign your two cameras. So you just drag and drop your camera. So I've got my main camera, and I've got my FPS controller first person character camera in there. And what I've done for the FPS controller as well, I've I've joined them with the car, so it. Can, so when the car moves, the guy moves. And what I've done, I put all, I put the walk speed, run speed, and everything on zero except the mouse. I left the mouse looks on. So if I press play, you can see the camera. If I press Z, I'm in the car, and I can I use my mouth mouse to move around. Um, and yeah, I can press Z again, and it'll show me the different camera angle of the car. And that's all I've done so far. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make this. Uh, we're gonna go back to our main menu project. So, scenes, main menu, save. And in the main menu, what we will do is get your script, main menu script. And in the start game, load level, make sure you know what the name of it is so assets oh I don't like it this way hold on so mine is called intro scene so in here I will write down intro scene and save it and what we're gonna do now is gonna go no build settings file build settings and add open scenes so main menu and then drag the intro scene in here as well or whatever scene you have next 
and now leave that as it is. So now what's going to happen? We're going to find our start game button. On the button manager, it's already selected start game. So now if you press play. There we go, it changes us to the scene. And yeah, I've got my scene. Okay, that's pretty good. Now what I'm going to do, I'll be back in a second. I'm, I will make my main menu a little bit better and everything I'll just build up a bit more Close my eyes, it's all coming to me Who said these walls could 